What's up you guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be testing some of the most popular Timu gadgets. In today's video, I'm going to put these gadgets to the test and I'm going to let you know if they're worth buying or if you shouldn't even buy them at all. If you guys are excited for today's video, you guys already know the drill. Drop a like, subscribe, and without any further ado, let's go ahead and let's test out the first gadget. <laughs> All right, guys, for the first few gadgets, we have a car gadgets, and this is the first one. We have this windshield sunshade. Now, I previously bought one from Amazon, which I believe was like $30, and it did not work out. So it's in the shape of an umbrella. It's supposed to be really convenient. You just pop it open, put it in your windshield, and it's good to go. Now, this one has the shape of little eyes. So since my car is red, I was like, this can be really cute so it can look like cars, like Lightning McQueen. So this one was obviously way cheaper than the Amazon one. I believe it was like two or three. Three dollars. Yes, and it even comes with the sleeve. Dude, how do they make profit? Two dollars. Everything is so inexpensive. I need to do like a one hundred dollar order from Timu to see like how many items Ooh, I can get. Be fun. Let us know in the comments down below if we should do something like that. Okay, so see, it's basically like an umbrella, and then you just pop it open. Don't poke my uh -oh. eyes. Oh, Wait, which way are the eyes? Can you see the? Okay, we're doing it right. See, the eyes are right here. No work kind of so i think this will definitely work better for a bigger car i mean don't get me wrong we can still manage it and make it work but it's not like you know it's not looking like it belongs here what if you push it a little bit more no you can't push it because it's sitting here do you smell that it smells like fish oh, that's so weird there's there's no reason this should smell like fish I'll tell you that, yes, it was $2, but it has like a fishy smell. But I wanna see what it looks like from the outside. So let's check it out. Oh, that's dope. I like that. For $2, it's not bad. But see it's here? Not the dashboard exactly. For it needs to go a little bit lower. Also, you see that red part up there? That is also supposed to blend and like make it seem like it's part of the car, which is why I was like, oh my God, if it fits, it's gonna look like a Lightning McQueen and it's gonna look so cool. So obviously, the gadget does work. It just does not work for my car because it's too small in there but if you have a bigger car obviously it's gonna work for you and for two dollars guys it's not bad <laughs> For the next gadget, we have a coin holder. Now, the reason I really want this is because my car doesn't have a place where I can put the coins. So this is literally what I deal with all the time. And it's so annoying because I struggle. I'm like, okay, where's the penny? Like, where's the 25 and cents? And you can't put your drink when you go to drive through Exactly. They're, just there and just They're like wobbling everywhere and it's just not sitting in here perfectly. And I remember back in the days, the car would like already have one. Like for example, in here, it would have one so it can hold your coins, but now they don't put it in the car so when i saw this i was like dude they used to have that back in the days in the cars let me buy one again this was like 50 cents or a dollar super inexpensive check this out that's what it looks like 25 cents and then i think this is for the 10 cents penny five and ten wait something's not looking right i think they put two for the 25 cents instead of putting one for the five cents but Bruh. i'm gonna take all of my coins <laughs> and i'm gonna fit them in here let's see if it works okay two is it going pretty smooth it does. I want to see how many it holds. It's really easy to just pop them in there. Five, six. Also, I want to show you guys, look at how many coins you can fit in there. That's seven. And look at all the space that we have left. Now let's do the pennies, right? Do they fit? Yes, perfect. Look at that. What about a nickel? Nickel right here. Perfect. What about here? What do you fit in That's here? supposed to be for the dime. That's why I'm like, I think they did something wrong. Look at that. I mean, it kind of works, but it looks super big. But I think they actually did like misplace another 25 cents because that's supposed to be for the dime. But I mean, for like a dollar 50 cents that I paid, it's not bad. And this is definitely going to help me keep all of my extra change in order. So that way I won't have them everywhere here in the cup holder. So I'm going to say that this gadget does work. <laughs> Up next, that we're gonna test out this cup holder phone mount. The reason I got this one is because I have gone through so many phone holders for the car and also for the truck, and none of them work out for me. Like, I just cannot find the perfect one. So I saw that this one was for your cup holder, and I was like, this is like literally perfect. So let's give it a try. So we're going to open it, and let's open the cup holder so we can also get that ready. I think this one is very similar to the ones that I always buy to eat in the car that go in the cup holder. So it looks like it's just one piece. It looks like this. That's cool. I don't have to do anything. It says twist to tighten or to loose. Ooh, wait, what just happened? This one in my opening, the top or the bottom? Oh, you twist it this way and then, and then you tighten it. No, you're supposed to loosen it, I think. Until it's tight, right? Yeah. There we go, nice and tight. Push to adjust the arm. Oh, 
Yay! Whoa! Okay, and then how do I... What is going on? I love on? this. I love it! Then you just pop your phone here. Dude, I like think that. this is like the perfect... This is perfect! This is what I have been looking for this entire time. Do you guys know how many of like the window ones, the ones that go here? I have bought so many, so many guys, and none of them work. And this is the perfect one. Look at that. Is it flimsy? Like, does it work? No, oh, it's, it's in place. Okay. Yes. Also, you can adjust can it you here. Put it like this? Ooh, that's dope. This, whenever I'm eating like Whataburger, watching my show on Netflix, will be perfect. Okay, obviously you guys can tell that I'm hyped for this gadget. So this gadget definitely does work. Up next, we have a dust cleaning gel. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that has dust all over the car. I actually had to move to my other car, the truck, because the car is actually pretty clean. And I was like, we actually have to put this to the test. And this one, as you guys can see, there's definitely a lot of dust here. So this is the perfect place to test it out. It's basically like slime. Look at that. Okay, wait, why can't I just use slime instead of this? Maybe you can use slime or maybe not because it'll get stuck to the car. <laughs> Let's see. And then you just roll it like this. And it's supposed to pick up all the dust. It's taking some of the dust, but not, oh, oh snap. But not all of it. Is it me or do I feel like it's smearing the dust in there? I feel like it takes some of the dust, but not all of it off what do you guys think you're gonna have to let me know in the comments down below because i feel like it's working but it's not completely taking all of it off it also left like a little residue here do you see like oil it's like oily now so i'm gonna have to say that this gadget does not work <laughs> Up next, we have the motor mixer. Now, I'm always looking for like weird gadgets to test out, and you guys know that I'm always drinking coffee. So, this right here is a little motor that you put on your coffee cup and you twist it, and it's supposed to mix your drink for you. So, there's no need for a spoon or anything like that. It basically does, like I said, all the work for you. So, we're gonna pour some milk in the cup. That should be enough. And then we're gonna take some hot cocoa mix. Just gonna dump it in here. Ooh. Oh my God, that was a lot. That's gonna be extra chocolatey. Let's just pretend that never happened. Bruh. Now let's open the motor mixer. This is the cutest thing ever, guys. It's literally a motor. Oh. Look at that. Now this is universal. It's supposed to fit any cup and you just place it. This right here goes all the way in. That's the motor of a boat, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then all you do to just turn it on is you twist it. But Let's see, I think we gotta twist it a lot. Can you see it a little bit? Nope. Wait, what's going on? I think I did a little too much cocoa mix in there. You should take it out and try it. See if it even spins. Let's see. Thanks, Jason. Now there's freaking hot cocoa all over me. It does work. Obviously, you guys can see it's everywhere now, but I think I added a little bit too much of the cocoa mix. Let me take out some of it so you guys can see that it's actually spinning in there. So I took out most of the hot cocoa so you can actually see the milk now. So we're gonna put back in at the motor and we're going to twist the knob as much as I can to see how much it spins. Okay, that was actually pretty good, but I wanna say it's not strong enough. So I feel like if I were to put my coffee mix in here, like I wouldn't fully mix it. So at the end of the day, yes, it's cool, but does it work? Probably not. I'm better off using a spoon. So I'm gonna have to say that this gadget is not worth it. <laughs> Moving on, we have this smart table water dispenser. Now this basically how it works is you take your cup, you place it on top of here, it senses the cup and then it dispenses water. Now you might be thinking, Pito, where is it getting the water from? So according to the video that I saw on the Timu website, you need a gallon of water. You place this under your bed because this goes in your nightstand, place it under your bed. Now this comes with a little water hose. You connect it to the gallon of water and that's basically how it dispenses the water from this. Now typically I just keep like a bottle of water next to my nightstand but if this works, it's gonna be really convenient. So let's unbox it and let's see what it looks like. This is the power cord. What is this? This is the one that you need for your water. Is it pretty long? It's supposed to go under your bed. So I'm guessing they made it pretty long. That's like half of my size. So that's pretty long, guys. And then this is the base. And then this is where the water comes out from. And then you just twist it on. Oh no, but you need to put this in, right? <gasps> Wait, where are the instructions? So I'm gonna read over the instructions. I'm going to assemble it. And then once it's all done, I'll show you guys what it looks like. 
So it was super easy to put together. I just took this piece, screwed it on, and then I just took the little hose, connected it to the back, and now we have this end here. This is what you put into your gallon of water, and then typically you would hide the gallon of water underneath your bed, and then put this in your nightstand. I have my cup, we're gonna turn it on. No, wait, what's going on? I think it's already on, it's already flashing. Oh, okay, and then you have 100 milliliters, 200, 300, 500, 700, and 1,000. So I'm gonna choose 100 milliliters because it's a pretty small cup. Put it here, and then you just press this button, and it's supposed to dispense the water. <gasps> Ooh. That's actually, and does it just stop by itself? I don't know. Oh, that's so cool. That is so nice. I love this. The only bad thing is that I would kind of feel like it's a little inconvenient to be switching out the gallons of water, especially like if you drink a lot of water at night. But aesthetically wise, I feel like this will look much cuter in the nightstand than the bottle of water. I would just water. probably keep this here, the cap, and maybe make like a little yes. hole mm -hmm. and put the little... So, no, so nothing will go in there, yeah. right? Because I feel like right now it's just exposed, like anything can go in there. So final thoughts, this gadget is definitely worth it. This next gadget is kind of weird. It reminds me of like a little kid with grown up money. So this is a mini watch remote control car. You guys are not ready for this. Basically, it's a, a watch, but it has a car inside and then you take it out and you control it with your watch. Like, isn't that like the most <laughs> coolest slash weirdest thing ever? Boring. It also comes with this little cable so you can recharge it, but I think it should have battery. Mm -hmm. Let's just open it up. Okay, first let me put it on. Let me put it on my wrist. I also got it in the color pink because I love pink. I have the watch on. Make sure it's nice and secure. Here's a close up so you guys can see. Look at that. Nice. What are you, the pink Power Ranger? Bruh. Power Ranger, activate. <laughs> Stop it. Get some help. I have no idea. Why did I even buy this? Like, why? I don't know. I just saw it in the box and I was like, oh, okay, I, I guess you want some RC car. Guys, I need to stop. Like, honestly, someone take my credit card away. Let's open this up. I think you press this button or you just flip this open. And then take out the car. What's happening? Wait, did you turn it on? Does it have a switch? Oh, I did not know that. It has a switch underneath, on, off. We're gonna turn it on. Oh, look at the little LED lights. <laughs> oh, that's actually pretty cool. We're gonna put it all the way over here. Backwards. To the front. Okay, guys. Obviously, you guys can tell that it does work. This is pretty cool. Then once you're done, turn it off. This is definitely meant for a kid, not for an adult. <laughs> you never know. What if someone watching wants it? Put it back in your little case. Close it. You're ready to go. And then you just walk away. I'm gonna have to say that this gadget does work and is definitely worth it. For this next one, we have reusable caps. So I saw these on the website, and the reason that I was really interested is because they claim that it is spill proof. So if you accidentally tilt over your soda, nothing will spill. I actually just really like them because they're reusable and you can use them for like your Cokes, for your energy drinks. And like during the summertime, there's a lot of flies and a lot of bugs, and these will really come in handy. So we're going to open up the soda. First things first, we're gonna take a sip, cheers. There's something about Sprite that just is like nice, bubbly, and crispy. If you know, you know. Let's take the reusable cap, see if it fits. It's in there, nice and tight, it's snug. Now, let's say we accidentally tilt over the soda. Before we try it, what do you think? I say I don't think it's gonna work proof. just because the soda is really gassy. Exactly, that's what I'm thinking too. Here we go, three, two, one. No, there's a little hole there. I, I, oh, guess, oh, 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 oh. I guess it does leak, but just a just little bit. Just a little bit. bit. But so you know it what? does work. Yes, I was going to say that because if you were to accidentally spill it, obviously you're going to pick it up right away. Honestly, this is the best one we have ever tried. I've tried. not going to lie. Jason has been here with me with all the videos, and he has witnessed that we've tried a lot of like reusable caps for like sodas and stuff like that. I would say like 95% of them do leak. This one is like the first one that lasted. It was the tiniest bit that was coming out of these tiny little holes here but if you were to accidentally spill it obviously you have time to pick it up so i'm gonna say that this gadget does work 
Next, we're gonna test out this kitchen gadget. So I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that has ever tried to pour something into a bag. And it's so annoying because I have to hold open the bag and then I also have to pour it at the same time. So I'm over here struggling, it spills everywhere. And then I have to call someone to help me. Well, this kitchen gadget is like your second person. It holds the bag open for you so you can just easily pour whatever you wanna pour in the bag. It's better if I just show you because I'm seriously the worst person at explaining. And also guys, you can adjust the height of the gadget. So you can make it as tall as you want it or as short as you want it. First, let me take out this bag and let's measure how tall do we need it. I guess it depends on the bag, how big it is, yeah, right? Yeah, because if you have like the snack one, you would obviously need it here. If you have like the quart size, it'll probably be like midway. But we're gonna take it all the way to the top because of this bag. So what you do is you open your bag, it has these clips, and then you just clip the bag in here. Oh my Super God, that is so convenient. convenient. Do you see this? This is like one of those kitchen gadgets that is like a must to have in your kitchen. So you guys already know the drill. I'm gonna have to say that this gadget does work. Last but not least, we have this 3D printing pin. You can create whatever you want with this pin. As you guys can see, they did the Ferris wheel and it's 3D back here. You can also like write your name and do the Eiffel Tower, whatever you want. Now these pins are pretty popular on TikTok. I always see them, but they can be quite pricey depending on the site that you get them from. And I saw that they were only $5 and I was like, I've always wanted to try it. It's only five bucks, what the heck? Let's just go ahead and buy it and give it a try. So I took out the pin out of the box and this is what it looks like. It comes Oh my god, it comes it's with pretty hot. Be careful. Yeah, it's already on guys. I let it preheat, but this is the base. This is the pin and then you plug it in. Now with the pin, you get three different colors. You get blue, red, and yellow. At the beginning, you guys will notice that it's hard, like very hard string. But once you put it into the pin, it melts it and then you create whatever you want and then it hardens up. So let's do the color red. Like Jason said, the pin is already pretty hot because I already preheated it. So we're gonna take a piece of the string. First things first, I need to know what am I going to create? So let's write subscribe in cursive. Let's see if my first grade school Skills come through so let's write subscribe okay I think that's how you spell <laughs> I don't think subscribe. that's how you spell it you should just write it the regular way I think it's right if anyone out there knows cursive am I right or someone right please let me know because I <laughs> Wait, think yes I thought the S looked different that looks like a little boat I think that's gonna, how you do S. Oh my God. Okay, anyways, let's just write it normal. You should just write it normal and connect them when you're doing it. Let's take the red string and then you just feed it into the pin. Doesn't go in? No, like it's literally stuck there. Okay, guys, I think I got it. The light turned green and I think I have to press this button. Oh, yes, I got it to work. 10 years later, why is it taking, oh, oh. Wait, it's not red. Okay guys, I got it to work finally. Okay, we're gonna go back with the S so we can connect it all together. This is actually pretty hard because you have to be really, really steady with your hands. And if you're not careful enough, it will stick to the pin and then you're gonna ruin the entire thing. Let's see, here you go, very carefully. I'm gonna trace everything. One eternity later. All right guys, so this is a, what it looks like. You guys might notice that here, the red looks a little bit stronger and then it like faints away. That's because I was able to go in twice and then when I was midway, it completely stopped. Like it just shut off and it overheated. But I mean for $5, what can I expect also? It smells like burnt whenever the machine was on it but i mean it got the job done and now let's see if we can pick it up in one single piece oh there you go don't break it nice subscribe if you guys want me to send you this but look at the detail honestly i was not expecting it to work especially because i was having technical difficulties at the beginning i was like okay this is why it was five dollars compared to sixty dollars but i mean it worked we just need to give it a little break for it to get back together and then i'm pretty sure it's gonna turn back on but again for five dollars is not bad so i'm gonna say that the gadget does work all right guys that is the end of today's video i really hope that you enjoyed it if you did enjoy watching today's video make sure to give it a big thumbs up also that lets me know that you guys enjoy these types of videos and don't forget to subscribe so i can send this to one of you guys and also don't forget to hit that bell so you can get notified every single time that i post a new video once again thank you guys so much for all the love and all the support that you guys always show to my videos and to my channel love you guys so much and i'll see you on the next one peace yeah, 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 yeah. Ay, coming in, yeah. Flex, I just wanna win, yeah. LABB, who we running with?